performing water changes is one of the most hated chores of owning a saltwater aquarium. Nobody likes doing it. But there is a better way, and some people are doing it already with the Neptune Systems dose. Setting it up is not really difficult to do at all. All you need is a couple of containers, one for the waste salt water and one for the new salt water, and of course you need the Neptune Systems dose. You simply connect up the tubing according to the instructions, and away you go. You can even hide it away in a cabinet if you'd like, and you'll never even see that this water change is taking place. So let's take a look at how it's done. All you need to do is go in and click the tasks icon in Apex Fusion, and then you'll see a list of all the tasks available. One of them is labeled Dose Automatic Water Change. Go ahead and select that. Now in order to set all of this up, what you need to do is make sure that your dose is already connected and the firmware is updated and it's been calibrated. Once you've done that, you connect the tubes in the way that the illustration shows. We have our new saltwater reservoir, we have it going through the first pump and then down into the sumper tank. The second pump is going to take the water from your sumper tank and then deposit it back in this waste container you see here. Now with this particular pump, the flow is going to go back through the opposite direction. To move from step to step, you simply click the next button. On this next screen, you'll see all the dose on your systems listed here. You'll select the one that you're going to use for the automatic water change. You can also tell here if the firmware is current on your dose. On this next screen, we're going to rename each of the pumps on your dose. You'd want to do it with something that's descriptive. In this case, the example shows add for adding water back into your aquarium. You change the name, then you click next. And then the second pump, it recommends you name it something like remove, which makes sense. We're removing the water from your aquarium. Now we need to tell the dose what time of day to do the water change. So what I like to do is set it for a time of day when you're not going to be home. In this case, maybe when you're at work from nine o'clock till five o'clock. You do this because the dose will make some noise and if you're not home, you can't hear it. Remember that all times in the apex are on a 24 hour clock, so five o'clock is actually 1700 hours. Once you tell the dose what time to do the water change, now you have to tell it how much water to change out. Now, the measurement is in milliliters, so to get a gallon, you need about 3,800 milliliters. On this next screen, you can review the entire configuration that will take place when you send it to your apex. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the send button, and the entire configuration will be sent to your apex. It might take a couple of moments for this to be completed. So now let's take a look at how the tasks set up your apex for the dose to do a water change. We have both of our dose pumps listed here. They're both set to auto. And now we can go in and take a look at the configuration for each one of these and see what it changed for us. Click on the gear icon. And now you'll see for the dose add pump, the one that's gonna add water to your aquarium, it's going to add 3,800 milliliters of water from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If we go back to the dashboard, we click on the remove pump, and you'll see that it's going to remove 3,800 milliliters of water from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pretty much that's it. I mean, you might want to put the tubes in a little bit different area of your aquarium um, so that you're not putting in right where you're taking out. Uh, but then over here in this tile, you will see as it goes through the day, you'll see exactly the same amount on both sides. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up automatic water changes in the dose.